live at the Charles River Studio checking out the Asia Festival. It's not over yet, right? Hi, I'm back again. Welcome to this episode of How He Does It. This is MJ West. I'm here with Eric East. Welcome to the Culture Variety Show. Today we're going to show you the Asian Festival. The celebration of the rich and artistic culture of China. And in addition, we've got a 4th of July fireworks spectacular from our very own Boston, Massachusetts. Now these are the major celebrations from all over the world every year. In this episode, we also have live footage of an actual calligraphy artist from the streets of New York. Hmm, and some relaxing jazz music from the Lance Martin Band, backed by Boston's own eight-year-old emerging talent, Lily Zhao, on flute. Summer's here. We're going to give you a few summertime suggestions for the folks at home. Our favorite host, PB South, is going to go behind the scenes with our very own film editor in a special segment that we like to call, How's He Do That? And Party Bear also mentioned something about a special horse he saw during the interview. First, we're going to go live with Susie North at the Charles River. And this, I gotta see. Mm -hmm. Welcome to today's show. I'm Susie North, and we are live at the Charles River Studio checking out the Asia Festival. Let's kick off today's show with the Happy Dragon Dance performed by the Walong Kung Fu Academy. Bye -bye. that in ancient times the dragon dance brought prosperity and good health to the people? Yes, yeah, true. The dragon's arrival actually brought the people good luck. Hold it real. Okay. After you guys at home saw the dragon dance, I hope the dragons will be bringing everyone good luck this year. Thanks, guys. We can proceed. Thanks, Susie. I'm Eric East. Thanks for joining us. I'm pleased to be your host today as we look back on this year's 4th of July fireworks spectacular at the Esplanade on the Charles River in Boston, Massachusetts. We'll check out a few of the highlights, we'll have a chat, but first, let's watch the action. Drum, drum, drum. Hi, this is Polly Bear. Today I'm going to talk about the fireworks history. Some sources say the discovery of fireworks is originated in China somewhat 2,000 years ago. The most prevailing legends fireworks were discovery or invented by accident. Chinese cook working in the field kitchen who happened to mix with charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter at the old days is very commonly found in the kitchen. The mixture burned and when it compressed in the enclosure like a bamboo tube, the mixture exploded. A discovery sometime during the 9th century, during the Song Dynasty, 960 through 1279. Although this could be confused between the discovery of gunpowder by the cook and the invention of the firecracker.
and some sources suggest that firework may have originated in India. On October 18, 2003, an Indian national newspaper reads, the Chinese are credited with the discovery of gunpowder. Mr. Li Tian, a Chinese monk, lived in the Hunan province in China about a thousand years ago. He is the one who credited with the invention of the firework. People are celebrating with the firecracker in Chinese New Year. The loud bang sound is the power to repel the evil spirit and the ghosts. An Italian named Marco Polo is credited with bringing the Chinese gunpowder back to the Europe or the West when they return from their journey in the 13th century. To elevate the beauty of the fireworks, people start mixed with other substances like copper mixed blue, sodium mixed yellow, etc. Magnesium, aluminum, and titanium were found to give off the white sparkles or a flash. Let's continue to watch the fireworks, and thanks. Wow! That amazing, spectacular fireworks was easily as impressive. <laughs> 